the most amazing thing about our universe is, perhaps its size how unimaginably big this universe is. Approx 93 billion light years. But perhaps this is the most disappointing aspect as well. Think about it, if today we use our powerful telescopes to find another planet like Earth in a galaxy which is suitable for humans to live on, it will take centuries for us to reach it. In fact for any individual leaving the galaxy is impossible. Now everyone knows that the Earth is in the Milky Way galaxy. In Closet Galaxy the Milky Way galaxy is Andromeda Galaxy. Approx 2.5 million light years away. So if we use a spacecraft to reach there with the usual speed of 28,000 km per hour it will take 94.5 million years to reach it. Not only that but somehow if we can make the technology travel at the speed of light, it will still take 2.5 million years to reach there. This is truly disappointing. What is the point of finding all these planets, when we will never be able to travel there? But if there were a shortcut to travel outside the galaxy, a shortcut through which we can travel across million light years in a few months then these things become interesting. These shortcuts are wormhole. What are wormholes exactly and how can we use them? Before understanding all this we have to come to the Einstein theory of relativity. When Albert wrote his theory of relativity he wrote it in a set of equations. This set of equations are called Einstein's field equation. Broadly speaking these equations tell us about how matter and energy influence the space-time curvature. Albert said that to visualize this we need to imagine a big mesh. When you place objects on this mesh, it bends down due to weight. The space-time mesh also bends in the same way. It curves with the weight of the big planets and stars, more the gravitational force of the planetary object. More the space-time mesh will curve around them. Albert was not able to solve his equation completely, he gave the approx calculations. The first person who solved these field equations was Carl Schwarzschild in the year 1916. He exactly calculated how much the curve of space-time bend at what degrees in case of single ball of mass. It was the solution of Carl Schwarzschild, which helped scientists understand the concept of singularity. What happens if this mass becomes infinitely dense? The curvature of space-time would wrap around it so tightly that this region would pinch off from the rest of the universe. With this scientists were able to theoretically prove the existence of black holes. So basically one of the solutions to these field equations was the black holes. Theoretically we already knew about the existence of black holes about 100 years before they were discovered in 1957. Scientist John Wheeler gave an example of wormhole and an insect is eating an apple, a worm its reaches from one side of the apple to other while traveling through the middle, instead of traveling through the circumference of the apple. By doing this the worm will travel a short route, in a way it has taken a shortcut in space-time and this is where the wormhole word originated. Consider a mesh which an object extremely strong gravitational force, so strong that the curvature of space-time has bent so much that it has pierced through the other side. The space-time mesh has folded on itself. A wormhole works in 3D or 4D if a wormhole exists it looks like a spherical ball. Till now no existence of wormholes are proven it's just in theoretical approach. The first question is. How will the opening of the wormhole formed? We will need an extremely heavy gravitational force here. Where can we find the gravitational force? In a black hole. Einstein and his assistant Rosen theorized that only black holes can have such a gravitational force that they open up these tunnels of wormholes. Everything is attracted to black holes and will flow through this wormhole. But the question here is, what will be on the other side of the tunnel? If there is a black hole on the other side, then there will be no way to get out of this tunnel you will be completed trap in this tunnel. Basically wormhole then will not be a tunnel to go from one place to another but a trap. There should be something on the other side which is exactly opposite of black holes. Something that instead of attracting towards itself send things away from itself, so that an exit point is created. Here enters in our story, the white holes. The white holes. Again white holes are such concepts which are proved theoretically by Einstein field equation. Apart from wormholes and black holes, white holes are another solution to these field equation. 
What are white holes? As we know white is opposite of black, in the same way when light tries to enter black hole it cannot escape back it gets trapped inside it. Similarly in the white holes the light cannot enter it. It can only be emitted. Like the event horizon a black hole is a point of no return. Similarly the event horizon of white hole is a boundary of no admission. Nothing can pass through beyond that point. I hope you all guys have liked this informative video. Please leave a like and share and comment. See you later in the next videos of astronomy. Bye.